Hi, three most guys. We got to freaking talk about something. Prawn, I'm going to save that for the YouTubes. Prawn is not the problem. Prawn is not the problem. It's never been the problem. And I've had the pleasure of talking to thousands of men over the years. And this has become seemingly one of their biggest struggles in life. One of their biggest problems in life is I can't stop watching Prawn. It's ruining my confidence. Dude, you're not addicted. Stop it. Maybe you are addicted. You know, why wouldn't you be addicted? I tell you, I love titties, man. I love some ass. Mm -mm -mm. That shit is addicting. It is addicting. But you know what's better than pixelated ass is real ass. Real ass is great. Let me tell you. And, um, you know, if you're not getting it, that sucks. But also, it's not prawn. Stop blaming it on the prawn. Prawn is actually a pretty damn good option if your life sucks. Think about it, man. For the first time in history, a man that has a cellular device who is a peasant can see all the wonders of the world in one day. He can see all of the best, most famous paintings, hear the most beautiful pieces of music. He can see all the titties that he wants, more so in one day than a king of the centuries past could see in a freaking lifetime. Holy shit, man. So of course, you know, of course, I do believe that easy access to titties leads to weak men. Weak men create hard times. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create easy access to titties. And then easy access to pixelated titties probably creates a, a bit of a beta male, right? A bit of a, a simp and slave to women. But it's not the main problem. And I'll just say it here. The main problem is that your life sucks. Okay, monkeys in a cage jerk off. Your life sucks, dude. Just accept it. What you need to do is make your life better. You don't make your life better by thinking that, oh, if I jerk off today, I'm a complete failure and I'm an idiot because um, some guy like Hamza on YouTube, some other guy told me that I'm a complete loser and I'm gonna be a failure. No, dude, I know plenty of guys that will joke and say, yeah, bro, I don't give a fuck. I jerk off and then I go and uh, do my work and I go and talk to chicks and it has zero effect on me. But it's not like this thing I'm constantly in a battle with myself for. Because the moment that you make it your main problem, dude, you, you have to understand that the size of your problems equate to the size of your life. This is your main problem in life, is your addiction to pixelated titties on a screen. Come on, man, you gotta have a better idea of what like you want in life. You're only doing this because your life sucks. You have no bigger goals. You have nothing to chase, nothing to aim for. So just be real. Because if you're real with yourself and you stop coping, then you'll get to the root of the problem. The root of the problem is your life sucks. You probably don't have many friends. You probably don't have loving relationships or you probably don't have any women. You know, you're, you're, probably, you're probably bitter and a bit jaded. That's not the prawn. The prawn does not help. The, the prawn probably does not help at all. It, it doesn't get you out of the situation, but you turn to that as a pacifier to cope for your shitty existence. And so, yeah, it sucks to hear, but let's stop, let's stop uh, shooting ourselves in the foot and lying to ourselves. That's not the problem. That is, the, that is what you do to perpetuate your shitty lifestyle. You're in a cage, man. So, so it's up to you. It's not up to me. It's not up to anyone else. Not your mom, not your dad, not your friends. Nobody. It's up to you to make your life better. Start living a life that this shit just becomes silly to you. This, this, this is... Yeah, why would I sit in my house and uh, jerk off? You know, plus there's other wieners on the screen, so that makes it even more gay. You gotta get, you know, you gotta start thinking, man, this is a bit sus. But again, you know, if you're gonna do it, man, just, just do it. Don't be filled with all this weird shame and stuff. Carry on with your life, make your life better, so that you lose the taste to do it. I, I think the guys, the guys that like, I can't, dude. I, I hate when people. Come to me, and, and so many men in our group do the same thing. They're like, dude, you got to cut that bullshit out. 
stop coping because we get these guys they come to us and we're like bro you're be honest with yourself your life sucks we know that if you want to have be held accountable for not touching your wiener you're just gonna go do this shit in like 30 minutes to an hour and then you're gonna come back and then you're gonna go post about it and you're gonna keep doing it dude go out there and talk to girls get fit work get your looks together get a haircut be handsome lose some weight if you're fat get around a social circle where you can actually meet girls that you can have a good relationship and you can get some sweet cheeks right in front of you that are real you can actually grab them you know none of this bullshit man we gotta stop lying to ourselves that's it all right that's it so uh it's all about keeping an eye through most and if you're not god bless you i'll talk to you guys soon peace